know yourself. Getting to know yourself is extremely beneficial, not only to you, but to others. It will affect the way people view your character and presence. It is also very important that we are able to recognize our mistakes and own up to them. I'm an actress. I love being on stage, and I've always been pretty comfortable there. Of course, I love to act, sing, and dance, but I'm drawn to acting for a much deeper reason, too. For me, acting is like a big rehearsal for life. Actors learn from the stories they perform. As the story's conflict develops, there are upsets and disagreements. At first, the characters make things worse, and then find a way to resolve the conflict and finally come to a solution so that there can be peace again. When a story unfolds before your eyes, you are able to see all of the truth behind it and apply it to your own life. When I am acting, I am not just playing a character, but I am always still myself. Being in another character's world and having all of their emotions is like a free trial for me to live with their feelings for a while. When my character reacts to a situation, I try to experience it the way I might feel and behave in real life. By practicing all of these different emotions and reactions, I can create a blueprint for the way I want to manage my own emotions. When you get to know a character, you get to know yourself through their emotions. And by knowing yourself, it becomes a lot easier to act with intention and be the person you really want to be. In life, it is so much easier to see someone else's mistakes clearer than your own. And when a conflict occurs, you can never know exactly what happened because no matter who you ask, you will just hear one more side of the story and never the whole truth. This means it's very easy to misjudge others and to judge ourselves blameless when we actually share some of the fault. However, when you are watching or performing in a show, you can see the ways all of the characters contribute to the problem and not just one single villain. Acting has taught me that conflicts are complicated and I almost always have played a part in causing them and have a part to play in resolving them. Recently, I was involved in a disagreement with someone else who said hurtful things about Although I was wounded, I knew that I had also done some things to cause the conflict. When I first found myself in this situation, I didn't know how to react. But the next day, I went to see my younger sister perform in Peter Pan. I watched as the story that I knew so well came to life on stage. I followed every character and tried to put myself in their positions. As I did this, I got in touch with the way I felt about my situation and discovered that I knew how to handle it. After seeing the play, I trusted myself and was able to make a decision that I was proud of. In the lesson that Jordan read for us, Nathan tells King David a parable about a rich man who steals a poor man's land. A parable is a fictional story meant to illustrate a big idea or a spiritual truth that might otherwise be hard to grasp. He uses the land as a metaphor because Nathan wants to show King David that it was wrong and selfish for him to steal another man's wife. Nathan tells this story to David to help him see how to be a better king. After hearing this story, David repents, resolves to be a better person, and to never again abuse his power as the king. Sometimes, we need a story about characters other than ourselves so that we can understand our own problems and what we should do about them. Owning up to our mistakes is very difficult, but also very important. David owned up to his mistake of taking another man's wife and he recognized his wrong. When there are auditions for a show, most people will audition for the hero. The hero is the character that everyone wants to play because it's the biggest part. Stories are about heroes because they are the people who rise above the conflicts and make good choices even when they are hurt or afraid. Real life is kind of like an audition too. We are all trying to show that we have what it takes to be a hero. Acting has made me want to be able to look back on my life at some point in the future and say that I lived it like a hero, made choices I was proud of, and owned my mistakes. So that if others were watching a story about me, I would set a good example for their lives too. Whether it's through acting or some other passion, I hope everyone can find a way to learn about themselves so that we can all act with intention and set courses for being heroes. Thank you.